hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know you guys have missed me i'm creative bmo if this is your first time coming here please if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please subscribe to learn more about special effects and beauty makeup or body painting so today we're going to do a three degree bond and let's just get right into the video so starting off we're starting off with our Meron 3d gel our q-tips and our staple sponge which is used for the effect coagulated blood very very important as well and our Meron closet powder to reduce shine our metal spatula and an oil or alcoholic um, activated paint but this is an oily paint then we are going with our brushes which is also very important these are what we are using so let's get right into the video so this is a very hot water it's used to to melt the 3d gel for the effect so i'm cleaning my hand to begin wiping that out to be dried and then we're going in with our simple sponge and the red effect to give it the bruising stuff so I'm doing this underneath the, the 3D gel so that it can not be too much when I put on the 3D gel because if you put it on top it's going to look a lot. I'm using our Q-tips to give it space like I don't know if you understand that then the 3D gel is here it has melted and I'm putting that on my hand and I'm trying my best not to make it smooth we have to make it rough because this is a three degree bond is a bond eventually actually so i'm using the um Meron closet powder to reduce the shine then we're going in our coagulated blood to put in that blood effect because you know when you have a bond there's always still blood in there so we're giving that that effect and we're just putting it randomly everywhere Okay, so I've applied the blood in everywhere I want it to be and I'm going in our fan brush and putting that on the um, black oily paints and taking that around it because definitely when you have a bun, you're going to have black areas around that bun. So I'm putting that almost everywhere trying to create that dark effect. You can actually use um, coffee. Yeah, you can do that. I'm actually using a smaller brush to put in the darker effect and making the depth of it shown by the side and this is our scar. If you want to add more effect to that, I'm putting in um, Andrew's liver salt and then a spray bottle to give it that um, recent acid bond like foam, those foams that come out from an acid bond. Yeah, so this is it and um, please if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe to it give give this video a thumbs up and ring the bell so you can get first notification when i drop a new video i hope you enjoyed this video once again i am creative bmo and thank you for watching bye